Hi, my name is Rachel Lin and I'm a rising sophomore studying Health and Societies in the College of Arts and Sciences. This summer, I got the pleasure to work with Dr. Stephen Cole in the Department of Pathobiology where we use whole genome sequencing to characterize extended spectrum beta-lactamases, also known as ESBL, positive E. coli isolated from canine and feline sources. ESBLs are enzymes produced by various gram-negative bacteria, and they can cause resistance to both beta-lactam antibiotics. ESBL positive bacteria can spread to both hospital and community settings. They can be transmitted through respiratory droplet, fecal oral, and fomite routes. ESBL positive bacteria can cause infections such as UTIs, pneumonia, and skin and soft tissue infection in people and animals. A better understanding of the clinical and molecular epidemiology of ESBL-positive bacteria from pets could help to develop um, strategies to mitigate spread between people and animals and prevent pet infections. Our results suggest that dogs with recurrent UTIs may be an important target for mitigating spread of ESBL bacteria in veterinary settings. We also identify that the molecular epidemiology of ESBL E. coli in pets has some similarities to that described in people. We identified ST131 as the most dominant sequence type, which is a globally dominant clonal group often found to cause infections in people and to be multi-drug resistant. Additionally, we identified ST8492, which has not been widely reported in scientific literature and may represent spread of a unique lineage within the veterinary facility. CTXM enzymes were the most common ASBL type in E. coli and the animals in this study. They may have a similar epidemiologic distribution as in people given that CTXM15 and CTXM27 were the most common alleles. This may suggest that dogs and cats may acquire ASBL bacteria from interactions with humans and that dogs and cats may serve as reservoir hosts for bacteria, harboring transmissible antimicrobial resistant genes.